Inhabitants of the largest city in Nigeria's northeast are bracing for a possible assault by Boko Haram extremists. That's after reports of nearby towns and villages that have been seized. CCTV's Deji Badmus reports on why people in the regional capital of Borno State are now living in fear. Banki is a remote town on Nigeria's border with Cameroon. Residents say after raiding the town, the sect members went about preaching to locals to convert and join their cause. But what is still giving people serious cause for concern is the status of Bama Town, which the insurgents attacked last Monday. Local vigilante groups say the government is still in control of the strategic town, but neither the government nor the military has commented on the situation. Journalist Dakwa Lauren Yomi says the silence of the government isn't helping matters at all. I think the silence of the government indeed is a more worrying part of this whole process because now we all have to resort to third party. In fact, a lot of Nigerians are getting these stories from neighboring states, from Niger Republic, from Chad and Cameroon. That's where we're all turning to now to know the true state of the... Obviously, we have uh, military, they embarrass, nobody wants to talk. And when they make a claim, we suddenly find, find out that the very next moment it's not quite the same. There have been so much speculation about what is actually going on in Bama and who is actually in control of that strategic town. For the residents of Meduguri, most importantly, they are worried. They want to get that reassurance from the government and the military that the sect is not about to overrun that city. I'm not a military expert, but if you just look at the template, how they've been working, uh, obviously they're just trying to uh, encycle Meduguri. Insurgents are now about one, what's one hour, about 45 minutes away from my degree. That's scary. I will never have thought that uh, gaining territory and holding territory is something that they can do. So there's clearly something not quite right within the Nigerian military organization. And I think the sooner we looked at that uh, as a country, the better. Nigeria and its neighbors are now asking the international community to help in cutting off Boko Haram's source of funding and weapon supply. Analysts say that could deal a decisive blow to the sect. But whether the international community responds very fast in the light of the sect's rapid advances remains to be seen. Deji Badmo, CCTV, Abuja, Nigeria.